Alright, here's an update on the uh, Extreme Makeover Paint Removal Edition that we're doing back here in the hallway, this pantry area. I've already shown you in the last section the um, how this turn wood is kind of turned out. This is the original 1920 wood that's like uh, this right here, except this of course has a little stain on it and varnish and so on. Again, our you know beam ceiling and such. And this is all the same wood that they used through the, the house when they built this back in 1920. So we still have to strip you know these doors, which we're, what we want to do is expose the hardware, take the doors off, take them downstairs and strip them that way. So we use the citrus strip to do this. That would be this one right here. You can get it at the Home Depot and probably just about anywhere else. But I know at least you can get it at the Home Depot. So that's what we used. And we still have some paint that just did not come off. You know, I did kind of a decent job over here. Uh, same here. I mean, it's not finished, of course. Not a finished product, but you can feel the bare wood. It needs to be sanded. But we decided <coughs> we were almost out of this a citrus strip, stripping gel. This new window looks really out of place now. As you can see up there, that's what the paint looked like before we started this. And the layers coming off down to the bare wood. Anyway, we decided to try something a little different. Instead of buying more of this, as we're almost out of it, you know, this hasn't come out yet. Uh, we decided to try a different product. We decided to try this, the Peel Away, Peel Away 1. Now this stuff is toxic. Uh, it's not something you'd want to leave unattended. And that's why they give you this, uh, it's like, kind of like tissue paper that you put down over the surface that you're doing so that, uh, I think it's just for safety purposes. You know, they, they make sure, they tell you umpteen times to wear gloves like this. You don't want your arms exposed, hands, anything exposed to this stuff. But once you get it off, it's fine. This stuff, this peel away one, has a very interesting odor. It smells like dead fish. Yum, yum. <laughs> if you're used to smelling dead fish, this won't phase you in the slightest. But that's what it smells like. And that we used here. And you can see the difference immediately between this and this. Uh, it will darken your wood a little bit. It tells you that right in the instructions, which actually is fine. You know, this is nice and clean. It just needs to be sanded a little bit. We didn't get the corners and the edges. We did the, the main surface here with this. It was a trial run and has worked very well. <coughs> this, I think, is like 15 to $20 at Home Depot. This is about 30 and it's a lot more, number one. And number two, you can see, as I say, citrus strip, peel away one. You can see the difference immediately. Uh, you put it on, let it sit for anywhere from 2 to 24 hours. And this all came off in one shot. Not layer by layer by layer like we we're doing here. This came off at once, in one shot. Just <laughs> took all the umpteen layers off, lead paint and everything else. So we're going to use that to do the rest of this project, including, you know, these door frames here so that they will match up to this when we're done. That's what we're trying to, trying to achieve. Uh, you put this stuff on and you can, if you're not going to be you know, right there, of course we have three cats. So we used some of the paper here and, you know, my wife also stayed down here to make sure the cats didn't get into it since it is toxic. Uh, and when you're ready to take it off, you scrape off the paint, and then you, they have you wash the surface down with a sponge and water. So after you're done, you go through and you use the sponge and that to take off the excess uh, stripper. So that, that surface is now clean and safe to touch. A little more toxic, but a lot more effective. And like I said, it smells like dead fish. Mm -hmm. Of course, the cats wanted to check that out. 
They're like, ooh, what's that smell? I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> More like, uh, no, sorry, not happening. So we have citrus strip, which is, it works. We used it upstairs to strip our, paint off our bedroom walls. And we have peel away one, which as you can see, really works. So good product. Uh, we're definitely going to be, you know, using it on the rest of the cabinets here, even some of the stuff that we've already done, just to get it to match. And uh, we've still got a long ways to go here. This is going to be a work in progress over weeks or months, who knows. A little spare time projects. But that's what we've got for you, trying to bring the place back to its uh, original beauty, 1920 style. And uh, we'll keep at it, and keep you informed as we go. So. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll catch you on the next one.